Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so this is time for another update. So I've had a little bit of a break again. Um, so recently you would have remembered that I have openly spoke about having problems with stress and especially over the last year where I've lost my grandmother, very, very dear to me. And lots of stress is going on, lots of difficulties over that time period. So I was expecting this, I really, really was expecting this, where my hair would start to show the signs of stress, to be quite honest with you, and just having had enough. I went through an, um, I went through an experience of this back in 2015. Yes, we are talking hair thinning, and my hair is thinned out a lot here. Now, I'm not ready to show you, I don't want to show you on the channel. I am all about openness, I am all about integrity and being honest, so please... Just go with me on this. I have done two clips already to capture this. Um, I'm a bit shocked by it. Um, I'm a little bit sort of surprised because of the, the products and things which I've used recently for my hair. Um, back in 2015, I had some really great experiences with products and there is a product I use on and off um, uh, called Stamoxidine, which is by L'Oreal Professional, Cerioxyl. Um, that is a really great product for hair loss. Um, it's again really effective um, and there is Viviscal for men but that is expensive supplement it is good for hair thinning uh, trying to keep uh, hair loss at bay and helping uh, diminish the effects of thinning hair but of course all these things come with a price tag and to be quite honest with you this year I wanted to do some traveling so I've just come back from Mallorca. A couple of weeks ago I was in Lanzarote and then a couple of weeks before that I was in uh, Pathos and Cyprus all because through losing my nan, through the stress of work, um, and then it was the anniversary coming up to a year losing my nan, and then her birthday. My nan is a second mum to me, she always has been, so it's been really traumatic, really difficult. And through on some health problems, it's a lot been going on. All throughout that, my hair has been okay. Surprisingly, I was really surprised because when I get a bit stressed, or growing up when I was getting a bit stressed, I'd lose quite a bit of hair. That happened quite often, and sometimes it does. Um, different people uh, reaching out through my through me uh, to my channel, um, and of course to me, have suggested sort of seasonal loss um, and have spoke to me about uh, stress. I know I have a bit of an issue with stress-related hair fall anyway. I mean, at the moment, it is literally, and I'd say since about May time, it has been my hair has has been growing, but I've increasingly lost more and more. Um, and I mean all over my hands, all in the brush when I style my hair, when I wash my hair, lots of it. In fact, from about this part now, it was more here, but it is more defined here. But from about this part here, I'm noticing sort of quite a change. Um, I'm trying not to worry about it. I'm trying not to stress about it because hair doesn't change who you are, does it at all? You're still that person behind you. So if you're in the same boat at the moment and you're thinking, actually, well, he's got a lot of hair, it's the tricks and things which I do to make it look like more hair. So my hair is to my shoulders. Okay, now so I've got longer length hair. Um, and I keep it I keep it done up at the back here in sort of like a men's top knot. But my area, and you can start to sort of just see in through here, but I've got an area about here, behind here, which is why I've taken the hair from the front and combed it back over. And you just did just see a glimpse of it there. But I spray it around here. Um, so it's sort of all over. So as you can see, you can start to see there's a bit of a, a bit of a sort of a change in here as well. I'm noticing that. Um, so it's it's literally here. But then to be quite honest with you, back in 2015, this part of my head really thinned out. Um, I had like a golf ball size amount here, and look, you've seen a bit of it there. Um, but throughout my hairline, sort of stays intact. Okay, but it's about here, which seems to be really reactive to sort of stress and one thing and another. So this is the area I'm finding it is. I mean, you can see in here, this was much thicker. I've done videos where this was much thicker, but how I've got it combed around, you wouldn't know. And you certainly wouldn't see that there is an, an, an issue. Um, it's, it's starting to sort of concern me a little bit here as well, but this is brilliant compared to this side. So I'm not worrying about it. I'm not making too much more of an issue. And bearing in mind, I've got a product in, which is I'm using the Stem Grow Trichology Follicle Defense Foam. Now, this stuff is, I don't know if you can kind of quite see it. I'm not amazing with my YouTube lighting at the moment, but this stuff is a foam. It's literally, you just, as you can see, literally like a foam. And what you can do is just in your areas where you're not really particularly 
happy or you're concerned or, it, or you're having an issue is you can use this foam. It's not oily, it's not greasy, it doesn't affect the scalp at all. I know some of the reviews have have said that it can agitate the scalp a little bit, um, but I haven't had that. But of course, just be, be cautious with these products because some of them are really strong, they are really invigorating. Sometimes they have products which can be quite uh, quite strong, quite, and if you've got a sensitive scalp, just be really cautious with that as well. But as you can see, I'm going to start carrying on with this. I've been using this for around three weeks now. In here, the hero sort of products in here straight out, we've got with, bear with me on pronunciation of this, we've got with Capilia Longa at the clinical proven level to reduce hair loss. And then in here as well, we've got creatine, vitamin B3, biotine and caffeine. Now, as my hair has continued to fall, okay, so on my three holidays, which I've had, and I may think if he knows that there's products out there which can help, why are you going to do that? Because when I first started using Stemioxidine, it was much, much cheaper. It was about £22. £20 you could sometimes get it for. Whereas now it's gone up to about 30 sometimes 35 Back um, a couple of years ago when I was improving my hair health and scalp health, my hair was amazing with Viviscal for men. But it took me investing nearly £800 in, in that product. So it's a lot of money. So throw this straight at you. So I'm trying to crack on and push on with my career. I'm trying to get on the property of my first house. I'm still studying in finance and accountancy and other courses, um, economics, management, that in the background, all have a cost attached to them. I wanted to do some traveling this year. The last thing I want to be doing is spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on this. So what I'm trying to do is improve my diet. And I mean by, because sometimes I don't eat enough, um, my weight fluctuates a lot. Um, so I was, I, I spoke to somebody recently, um, and I've done this in my last clip, about the perhaps that, because I have a lot of stomach problems and health issues in the background, and I'm coming through that now, but the stomach problems are still very persistent. And they suggested that I had like a friendly bacteria. So I've been taking these um, in the help that that would help my stomach and my body absorb and utilize the nutrients and the minerals, because I love fruits and vegetables. I absolutely do. Um, but for me, if I get stressed, then I don't eat very much at all and that type of thing. Um, so for me, it's more about eating more and finding the balance of trying to construct, control stress and sort of trying to relax in that mindfulness and all of those great things. But of course, it's not easy to do. Um, I'm really great at telling people, but not by telling my own, uh, taking my own advice. So I'm using the foam. I am using the friendly bacteria, which I will be honest, I've been taking it for three weeks. Every now and again, I notice a benefit with my stomach problems, but um. I haven't noticed that with my hair, to be quite honest with you. The foam, I can absolutely uh, confirm that, yes, I've continued, as you can see, um, especially here, which is a little bit concerning, as I've seen this on the camera, actually, now, um, that there is a change there. Um, certainly in here, there is a change. That's why what I do when I style my hair is I take it off to the side now and I swoop it off at the back. Um, it's not... It's not major here, but I'm starting to see a little bit of a change. So I'm hoping that's not going to be too much of an issue. But in the last couple of days, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, things are starting to calm down. And from this foam, I'm noticing lots and lots and lots of tiny little hairs all across the front. So I'm hoping things are going to change. Now, of course, where my hair is finer, but I've got a lot of it, I've used a wet product here, as you can see. I've just combed the foam back. So yes, I can tell that this is finer, but when it's dry, it's not as fine as it looks. This here is my issue. And that is more like a golf ball, more like now a triangular size figure sort of here with a lot of sort of thinning in there. I don't want to show you because when I tried to do this last time and I done it on the clip, it looked horrible. And that's not that there is a problem with that at all. It's just that through my channel, I just don't want to convey that right now. I just want to hopefully that you believe me as a person and you believe that I am honest and I am truthful and my integrity is my utmost of what I'm trying to, to put across here um, because it's not great. Hair is hair, yes, absolutely, but it has the power to make us feel on top of the world and it has the power to make us feel down in the dumps. It really, really does. Um, so yeah, unfortunately it has got worse whilst I was on holiday, it has got worse. I'm hoping that stops, as I say, I've noticed a bit of a change in the last couple of days, and I'm hoping that it continues to improve. Um, I've still got quite long hair. It's to my shoulders. The back is absolutely fine. The front is, 
I wouldn't say it's noticeably thinner here, um, but I can tell, I can tell. So I'm a little bit careful of how I style my hair, particularly this side. So if I have my hair down, then what I tend to do is I tend to put like a bit of a product in here and create like a bit of fullness, a bit of sort of almost stiffness at the root. So then the hair stands up. So I don't part my hair now in the middle, which you'll see that I've got clips where I've done that um, on my channel. What I do is I part it from one side, then I sort of have it over. So you see that I've got the bulk sort of behind my ear on this side and then this side that it comes over. Um, it's all about the tricks and tips, isn't it? I always say that before my hair was more um, more air than hair. Now front sometimes literally is. But um, I, have a, I have a passion for hair. I have a passion for fine hair particularly um, and those sort of those elements of hair loss as well. And just generally hair thinning, all those things which can affect us so much. And I have a passion for creating and helping sustain the most optimum hair environment growth. So you can keep enjoying that thick, vigorous hair growth as well. Men, of course, sometimes accept that they will lose their hair. That, in my eyes, that is not true. We do not have to accept that at all. As long as the follicle is still active, there is always something we can try. We can't necessarily always get there, but we can try to stimulate, to boost, to invigor, to help thicken that area. So my hair does this. Back in 2015, if you'd have seen this, I didn't have my channel then, but if you'd have seen my hair, you would have thought that this was fine thick back here. In the front, I had the hair and I had the hairline, but it was much thinner. Um, so yeah, lots of things, but a bit sad, a bit disappointed that I can't say that it's already stopped and it's already started to come through a bit thicker. It hasn't. I'd say in about the last two days, I've noticed a reduction, about half of what was coming out in the last two days. Since getting back from my last holiday from Mallorca, I've noticed that my hands aren't as covered in hair when I wash my hair and when I style my hair, there is not as much. But there is lots of hairs coming through from this uh, foam. So I'd really recommend this. It's natural hair science. You can get it on Amazon. Okay, it's 95 naturally derived, 95% sorry, naturally derived ingredients, stem grow trichology, follicle defense. Um, so yeah, and they do a shampoo conditioner of this as well. So really, really great. Um, if you want to know any questions, if you want to know an honest opinion, please do ask, please do come back to me. I will be very, very honest. It's just right now, please understand, I don't want to put a picture on here. Um, because I find that would be very difficult for me then to to carry on with my channel with reviewing products. Um, what will not be happening now is I have some highlights throughout my hair, as you can see. It was about six months ago and I had that. Those won't be happening now at all um, because now my, my own colour is growing back through. Um, it's much more healthier, much more healthier anyway, straight away. Um, it's great to have colour and colour can certainly boost fine hair. So don't be scared of that, but do it professionally. Don't never, don't, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Don't mess around with it because the effects can be so catastrophic and so detrimental to your scalp environment, which bearing in mind, if you damage your scalp environment, that can affect your hair growth. Okay, so thank you very, very much for joining me. Um, I wish it was a little bit more upbeat, but I'm positive that, of course, I'm grateful for the hair which I have got. There are a lot of people out there, a lot of young men my age, who don't have hair at all. So I've still got my hairline intact. It's just behind here. This is slightly finer, I'm noticing. I can see on the camera this evening. But I can do something with that or brush that through and that will come a little bit more fuller anyway. But I've got, thankfully, hair still all to about here. But is that fine? Light shines straight through it. So I'm hoping this improves, but this area here, no. We need to work on this, but we will get there. Um, okay, so coming up, what's going to be coming up on the channel? Lots of clips around hair products. Yes, we're still going to be reviewing it, but we're going to be keeping it healthy. What I would always say is never be afraid to not wash your hair if you are losing hair, because ultimately that hair is going to come away anyway. Concentrate on the stimulation of your scalp. So massage. I don't mean go somewhere and pay for a massage on your head. I mean, literally, when you shampoo, when you conditioner, take a few moments, really invigorate that scalp, really take your time and really slow motion around in the area which is concerning you. Get that blood flow pumping, look after those follicles, try and calm down on stress. It's not easy, believe me, I'm right there. And excel all the healthy things in your diet. So a lifetime of moderation with all the great things we all enjoy, amazing. When it sounds excessive, then it starts to affect the body negatively therefore it affects the hair bearing in mind hair is classed as the body as a non-essential element so the body therefore does not recognize that it's the first point of call which i know some of us would like all the nutrients to go there but it goes all the way around the body first of all there's anything left over it goes to the hair excuse me not my camera so really really concentrate on the diet control stress exercise 
all that health, well-being, mental health, really try to take time for you and try to switch off because that's really going to help as well. OK, so as I say, any questions, any anything you want to ask, please do come back to me. Leave my leave your comments down below and I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you very much indeed for sharing uh, your time with me. Thank you very much for being here. And until next, I wish you the best of health. Take great care. God bless. And I will see you real soon. Bye for now.